Math 1314, Tyler Jr. College, section 2.8, distance, midpoint, circles. Standard form of the equation of a circle. We'll go ahead and call this part one. I know there will be a part two. So what is a circle? Everybody knows what a circle looks like. But ask somebody at random what's a circle. And you'll find they might be hard pressed to give you a, a definition that's so rigid that it correctly identifies a circle but not other shapes. For example, if somebody says a circle, is, that's, that's a round thing. Okay, circle. Obviously not. But if that's their definition of a circle, then they're, they're not descriptive enough. Circles are round, but so are other shapes. So what makes a circle a circle? Two things. A center and a radius. The center is exactly what it sounds like, the middle of the circle. What makes a circle a circle is all the points on the circle are the same distance from the center. That distance from the center to any point in the circle is called the radius. If you're thinking, well, what's a diameter? That's the distance all the way across. So it would be two of the radii, radii plural radius. But you need those two character, or those are two characteristics that can define a circle. Where its center is located and what the radius is, how far from the center all the points are. So is this enough information to come up with a standard form for the equation of a circle? Suppose the circle has a center of h comma k and a radius of r, as illustrated here. What is the equation of the circle? Well, I could just say it's this, but that's no fun. Plus, if you watch it being built, you're more likely to understand its structure in future homework problems. In order to come up with the equation of anything, you have to set up a generic point on the shape and ask, what must be true of this point? For example, let's say we pick a point on the other end of this radius and generically call it x comma y. What must be true in order for that point to be on the circle? Answer, the distance from the center to this point must equal a radius. Oh, wait a second, we have a formula for distance. The formula for distance is the square root of the sum of the squares of the differences in the x-coordinates and the y-coordinates. If we call the center the first point, and then the generic point x comma y the second point, then the second x minus the first x is x minus h. Let's put a red x here. And then the other subtraction problem is the difference in the y coordinates. Using the same first and second points, the second y minus the first y is y minus k. That will calculate the distance between the center and this generic point on the circle. Well, we already have something to represent the distance between the center and a generic point on the circle. That's the definition of the, of the radius. So this needs to equal whatever the radius is. Well, at this point, we technically have the equation of a circle, but we're going to make it look just a little bit prettier by squaring the both sides. If we square the left side of the equation, it will get rid of the square root and we'll have in parentheses x minus h squared plus in parentheses y minus k squared. And then if we square the right side of the equation also, we'll get r squared. And that's called the standard form of the equation of a circle. If you know the coordinates of the center, h and k, you put them here. If you know the radius, you put it here and it gets squared. One last comment before we say look at the pretty formula. Does this look like some other thing that we've seen before? Does this not look like the Pythagorean theorem? If we drew the run and the rise, 
not only would we get a right triangle to which we could apply the Pythagorean theorem, but the run is the difference in the x's and the rise is the difference in the y's. So the run is x minus h and the rise is y minus k. This is just the Pythagorean theorem done on this picture. So no matter how you approach it, how you try to find the equation of a circle, it all washes out the same. But this one is by far the most acceptable form, the most, uh, the most widely used form. It's called standard form. If I invented math, I would call it center radius form because it contains the center and it contains the radius.